Are you ready to learn a knot made for a kraken? Let's get started. All right, in three steps, you're gonna learn how to tie this knot. First, double up your line. Next, put it through the eye loop. Now, if you know how to do a clinch knot, it's the exact same steps. You take your loop end and wrap it around five to seven times. I'm only gonna do three because I'm using very thick cords. Once you wrap it around, put it right through and pull. Boom, and boom. If you follow, if you wanna see more tips. How about we do a challenge? One new fishing knot a day for 60 days. The first one we're going to do is this surgeon's loop knot. Fold your line over. Do three overhand knots. So one, two, three. Now, slowly pull it a little bit like this. Get it wet. So I'm using some water here to lubricate the knot. And then pull tight. I pull on everything. Then I pull on the main line, clip the tag end, just like this. You can go pretty short if you want to. I'm gonna go about right there. Cool, now we have a loop. This knot is great if you wanna put a weight at the end. Simply just pinch it a little bit at the end, put it through your eye loop, fold it over, pull tight, and you got yourself a surgeon's loop knot. Definitely duet this video so I can see how you do it and tag me and make sure you follow so you can see tomorrow's knot. See ya. Today, for day two of our challenge, we are going to learn the dropper loop knot. Let's get started. Between my hands and make a loop like this. Then you use your middle fingers to kind of keep the loop open and then you twist these top two strands five or more times, just like that. And then you reach in. And you slowly pull. Until it's tight. Well, there you have it. I hope that was easy for you. Definitely duet this knot so I can see how you do it and tag me. And be sure to follow to see tomorrow's knot. See you later. Day three, we are going to do the fastest perfection loop. Take your line, pinch it together, form a loop, go around it once. Pinch it with your fingers again. Now you can see there's two loops. Now put this tag end right through the middle. Hold it down with that finger. And then pull the front loop through the back loop, just like that, and pull tight. Moisten with a little bit of water, just like that. And then cinch it down. Boom, you got yourself a perfection loop. Doesn't that thing look pretty? Cut this tag in. And you're set. Hey, what's up? Today's knot, we're gonna do the cray knot. Start with an overhand knot, just like this. Pull it tight, leave it a little bit open, grab your lure, go through the lure, and go back through that overhand knot. Slide it down to where you want your loop to be. Say we want it to be that big. Take your tag in and wrap it around three times. You can go more if it's a smaller diameter line. Let's do this many. And then to finish it off, you go right back through your original loop. Pull your tag end. And before you go all the way tight, get it wet to help that knot cinch down securely. And then pull tight. Boom, just like that. And you're ready to go. I made this loop a little big, but you don't have to go that big. The Homer Road Knot. Simply start by doing a double overhand knot very slowly and make it do a figure eight. Just see how it made that figure eight? Cool, now take your tag end, go through your lure, go through the figure eight, the same direction the line is. So that we went up through that one, through, right there. Now you can see the line is following on both sides. Pull the tag end to make the loop the size that you want. Finish the knot by doing one simple overhand hitch. Then you want to pull to get it exactly to lock down that knot right there. And before you pull completely tight, you want to get a little bit wet. Cool. Now I pull the main line and pull it tight. Cut off the tag end, and you're done.